Well, what's going on everybody? Come back. I have found my satellite communication device. Come back, check it out, and I'll show you and tell you why I picked what I picked. What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mid-10 Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? Before we get into the video, real quick, don't forget to go down below to get your Mid-10 Outdoors t-shirt, whether it be long sleeve or short sleeve. Don't forget to pick up a hoodie, a hoodie, hoodie, a hoodie. I have the zip up and I have the pullover. So go check it out down below. Like I said, there'll be a link. Um, I would sure appreciate it when you buy anything from the merch. I get a good percentage of it. If you buy anything from Amazon links, that helps me out. And I do get a commission off of that, but it doesn't cost you any more. Also, don't forget my medic link down below. I sure would appreciate if y'all go and support them, buy some first aid equipment off of there. They have some other great things on their website. Go check them out. Now, let's get into the video. All right, guys. So, one of the things my wife had to have me have, and I agree with her 110%, is a form of communications when I'm like going to be in the Smokies in a couple weeks. Um, we found out when me and Chase went camping a few weeks back, or a few months back, we were having cell phone issues getting messages in and out. Uh, even text messages, and I've been in some bad areas where even you could get a text message out without any problem. Well, that wasn't the case at one particular campground. We were having problems getting text messages out. Um, do have family member, well, my mom, she's in a nursing home. She's doing fine right now, but the wife has parents that are not in the greatest of health and live, you know, still live at home and she's having to take care of them quite a bit. So there's those issues. So we had to have a way of being able to communicate back and forth. Um, so I looked at everything. I, I looked at all the devices that are out there, whether it being from Garmin, whether it be just the uh, spots, whatever. One of the things I had to be in my wheelhouse is to be able to communicate back and forth, not just send a check-in message. I wanted to be able to communicate back and forth. So I looked long and hard, um, thought about it long and hard, and I finally decided on a unit. So the unit I ended up going with after looking at all of them for weeks, I mean, I really looked at these for weeks. I got on YouTube and really looked at the videos out there of what people thought about it compared to all the others. One of the big, uh, products out there I looked at was Garmin. That was one of the first ones I looked at. Uh, always been a Garmin fan, like Garmin stuff, and you know, know it's a well-trusted brand. But some of the reviews and some of the problems people were having, I was like, okay, whatever. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Everybody's gonna have an issue at some point with some piece of equipment. Well, then I started looking at other brands and costs started coming into play too. I didn't want to blow the bank on this thing, but I wanted something reliable and I wanted something that um, made sense for me and for what I needed. So what I did was ended up going with the Zilio satellite communicator. Now I'm going to turn the camera around here in just a minute. We'll take a look at how this works, but I'm going to go through real quick. I got a cheat sheet. Some of the important stuff on the Zulio and why I went with it. Okay, so the basics of the Zulio that I want you to know about. Um, first one, the unit's $199 for the unit, charging cable, and the little dangly do here. Um, well, carabiner, I'll say it in a second. That's what you get in the box. Um, you have three plans. You have your basic, which is $20 a month. You have your in touch, which is $35 a month month. Then you have unlimited, which is $50 a month. Now let me go through and tell you what you get. 
On the $20 basic, you get 25 messages. After that, it's 50 cents a message. Um, with 50 cents a message, yeah. Now, I'll get into some of the other parts here in just a second. Now, free, you get the satellite SOS, which it does have the SOS button right there. Um, and, of course, that's hooked to the GOS SOS monitoring service, which is free. So, where the next one, which is the one I went with, is the InTouch for $35 a month. You get 250 messages free. Um, same goes for if you go over, you get 50 cents per message. Well, 250 messages is quite a bit, even just for a weekend. Um, I'll probably never use that many. Still get the satellite SOS and you still get the monitoring service. On the unlimited, which is $50 a month, you get unlimited messages. You don't have any overages. So if you go over, well, you don't go over. So all your messages are free. Still have the satellite SOS alert. You still have the SOS monitoring service. Now, here's where Zulio to me, stands out a little bit different from everybody else. Now, we'll say this. If you want people to be able to track your uh, progression on your trails or whatever you're doing, it is an extra $6 a month, which I may not keep that because you don't need that for them to be able to track where you are as far as emergency services. So remember that. You don't have to pay that extra $6 a month for them to track you, track you down to find you if you hit SOS button. But if you want your family members to be able to see where you are on the map, you will have to pay that $6 a month. Now, after your first three months on the program, on the thing, you can drop it down or suspend the service for however many months you want. But you can only do that one time a year. And what I'm probably going to do is do that during the winter months, colder months, because that's when I'll less, least likely to use it. When you drop it down or suspend the service, it's only $4 a month. Now, when you get this, you will, once you activate it, there is a $20 activation fee one time. So when I go back, when I put this thing to sleep for a while, when I go back to activate it, there's no activation fee. It comes with its own phone number, which is what you give to people. Uh, you can also... The wife has my app, has the app downloaded, so we can message to message. Doesn't take away from the messaging service or the messaging allotment. So we can do that. Um, I think that's right. I'm, I know I've heard that a couple times about this. Um, but you can also give us its own email address and you can receive an email. Now, you won't be able to get pictures back and forth, but you will be able to send email. Now, what's important about that is if you suspend the service, when you come back, the number is the same. So is the email address. Some of the services, once you suspend it, you lose the number. This phone, that phone number that was given to this will always be with this unit. So I like that idea because I'm actually going to give the phone number to a couple different people to have when I do go off and go to like the Smokies where I'll have no cell service if they need to get in touch with me for some reason they can all right so let's get into the basics of it real quick and I'll tell you some of the uh, other important stuff and then we'll I'll show you how the unit works and show you how the app the other part works okay so here's some of the stats on this thing so you'll know this part it is IP68 dust and water resistant. Um, I think I saw 30 minutes underwater before you start getting into trouble. All your important parts are covered. Uh, your buttons, your plug-up port for your charging is covered. It's got that little cover right there over it. The SOS, and I'll show you more about that in a minute is a covered button. Operating temperatures are from 20 degrees Celsius to 55 degrees Celsius or in America minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit to 131 degrees Fahrenheit. Storage temperature. Now this is kind of interesting too. 
is minus 20 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius or minus 4 Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit battery charging temperature so what what's the coldest you can charge this battery is 0 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius so I find it kind of interesting that it has to be a little warmer to charge it in the winter time or 32 degrees Celsius 113 degrees Fahrenheit so there's your environmental what it'll do in temperatures um, if you get below 20 degrees Celsius or minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit well you're gonna start losing battery performance so satellite network what does it work off of iridium network connects via Bluetooth and we'll get into this a little more here in just a second but that is one connection at a time so if me and my wife are together and we're using this thing she can, I can be on the Zulio if she wants to get on I can back off and with the app she can get back on she can get on it so she can do what she needs to do uh, it does have the global navigational satellite system and GPS accuracy is 2.5 meters or 8.25 feet under ideal conditions so it's just like anything else with satellite or any kind of communications whether it be a handheld radio or whatever trees are going to make a difference so you're going to have to find a clearing spot to get optimal signal so i'm going to stop right here we're going to turn on the device and we're going to load up the phone and you're going to see why i chose this over some of the others okay let's start this thing up real quick now you may be asking yourself do you have to have the phone in order to make this work no you do not you can preset certain numbers to receive messages from this I can check in by hitting the check mark button and that will send a check in you do not have to have a phone to hit the SOS button either which is under this cover um, you hold the button for three seconds and that sets off the alert that you're in trouble if you accidentally set this off you hold it for five seconds and it'll cancel the alert now you can schedule a test of the SOS button which I will be doing at some point before I leave because I want to make darn sure the SOS button works that's the whole sole purpose now what was the big deal of me getting this one well let's go to the iPhone and I'll show you so Zilio makes an app they have an app that works with their unit and as you can see automatically it's already on I'll show you this it's on the phone as we speak matter of fact if you click this shows you we are connected battery is 95 percent satellite signal is kind of low because we're inside the house now I'll get into some other things here in just a minute um oh all of a sudden it jumped up now it's now you've got such good service that it's you know it's going hey how you doing <laughs> that sounded bad but anyway okay so i can go in and start typing a message but anyway when you're doing messages you can you can go in here just like you would um oh so there's there's the wife's information hopefully you can't see it all I'm going to do is click on her and I can do a check in SOS or location share to my contacts. Um, if I was going to do message, I hit that. Zulio app, I can choose her and I can type a message and send it. Now, the other thing they offer is weather uh, the weather is from dark sky weather gives you four day outlook current day and three days out Friday Saturday and Sunday looks like going to rain yay also shows wind which is another thing a lot of people you know some people need may need is how bad is the wind gonna be blowing during this how much precipitation we're going to get during the day 
um, you know, all that good stuff. 69% chance of rain, 59% chance, 2% chance, 0% chance Sunday. Sunday may be a good day to go hiking or something. So you've got the weather on this. You can hit the SOS button from the phone if need be. You can also change all the settings you want to on this through your phone app. So that is why I went with this particular unit is because we can message back and forth and I'm using the phone. And you may say, well, Patrick, how can you use your phone? You're going to run the battery down for it trying to search for service. Well, no, not really. Because on my phone, I can go into airplane mode. Bluetooth is still on and that's what connects the two devices is Bluetooth, not Wi-Fi, not cell service. So now this thing is solely dependent on itself. It's not using anything from the phone. Now, here's the cool part about this. For instance, if I get in the area where all of a sudden cell service is working, instead of taking away from my 250 satellite messages, it automatically reverts to text messages. If I get into an area where I accidentally have Wi-Fi, instead of going through text message or satellite message, it'll go through as a Wi-Fi message or a message through Wi-Fi, through Internet. And it does not take away from your 250 or whatever allotted messages you have for that month. So that is one of the reasons why I went with this. I thought that was a pretty cool deal that you could... it reverts to whatever is the cheapest option is at the time of the message goes out and when you send the message it'll actually tell you how it sent it whether it sent it through text message satellite or Wi-Fi um, so that that's the real reason I went through this went for this um, you do have notifications on here it'll show you when you have a message It'll show you that your message went through, shows you your power's on, and you can dim these lights where they're not as bright. I've got it on dim actually right now. And this is to let you know your SOS is going through. The other cool thing about this, if I hit that SOS button, not only is it going to set off the SOS, but they're going to contact me through the app to ask me exactly what is wrong. In the meantime, they've already alerted authorities that they've gotten an SOS from me. They've also alerted the authorities what, where I'm located. So now they can tell the authorities what is going on once they have talked to me uh, back to them without any problem. Does not stop them from alerting services if they can't get a hold of you. I will say that. If they don't get a hold of you, then the cavalry's coming regardless. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. If you have any other questions, ask me. Like I said, I looked at the Garmin inReach. I looked at the Spot X or whatever it's called um, with the keyboard and everything. One of the things I heard was sometimes you had messages that took forever to go through. But I also heard the same thing with this. Um, I think I really wish Garmin and them would come up with an app like this and be able to communicate with the phone. I've got a feeling now that this is getting so popular, they will be. And that's down the road. Equipment price, though, is what else sold me on this particular unit. $199 versus the Garmin inReach versus the other Garmin um, options or the X or the Spot. Uh, I can't think of the name of the one with the keyboard. It's quite pricey. Do your pricing on it. But like I said, if you need something more than just a check-in, then this is a good option. Awesome option. I will be using it in Gatlinburg, or in the Smokies when I go in a couple weeks. So I'll let you know during that video how this thing is working. I've had it in my truck window for a couple days. It picks up everything like it's supposed to. And, you know, it seems to be working good. Oh, the one thing I didn't tell you, there's a couple other things I missed. Uh, operation hours on a battery charge is 200 plus hours. Now I'm sure that's going to um, that's going to play in is how often are you checking messages on it. That's probably going to take away from the battery life. You can manually do it. 
or you can have it where it does it in incre increments of 30 minutes, 20 minutes, or 15 minutes, I think it was, and 60 minutes. I've got it to where it'll check in every hour. Now, if I'm in a message between me and my wife, then I'm going to be checking it manually. Um, the other thing, charge time. How long does it take to charge this thing? Two hours. Two hours to charge it with a 1.5 amp charger. So, see, it doesn't take much to charge it either if you need to charge it. But 200 plus hours ought to last me all weekend without any problem. Should have some left over. I will probably keep it on at night if I have to. I will plug it up to a charger to kind of keep this charge. It is a lithium ion battery in here, so you know lithium ion batteries and how they last. All right, guys. Sorry, this is going to be a long one, but you know, there's a lot of information here. I wanted to get as much as I could out for you guys on this particular unit, why I went with it, and um, we'll find out. We hope, I hope that uh, holds true as far as being a good product and don't ever have to have a problem have a problem with it so guys that's it for now danny i'll give you the phone number because you're going to need to get hold of me be prepared